Hello all. Continuing with the bacterial morphology and anatomy, today's topic is bacterial spores. So, what are bacterial spores? Some bacteria like members of the genera Bacillus and Clostridium have the ability to form highly resistant resting stages. This highly resistant resting stages are called as bacterial spores. So each bacterium forms one spore and this spore on germination form a single vegetative cell. This is called as sporulation. So sporulation in bacteria is not a method of reproduction. As bacterial spores are formed inside the parent cell, they are also called as endospores. While the exact stimulus of sporulation is unknown, it occurs after a period of vegetative growth, usually due to the depletion of exogenous nutrients. And sporulation is initiated by appearance of clear area, usually seen near one end. And it gradually becomes more opaque and this stage is called as four spore. The fully developed spore has a core and an outside. The core contains nuclear body, spore wall, membrane. And the portion or the part outside the core have a spore cortex and a spore coat. And some bacteria may have an additional outer covering. It is called as exosporium and it have ridges and grooves. And on sporulation, new antigens appears. Usually young spores are attached to their parent cells. The shape and position, the shape and position of the spore and its size relative to the parent cells are species characteristics. So it can be central or equatorial, terminal or subterminal. The shape can be oval or spherical. They may or may not distant bacillary body. Moving on to the resistance of bacterial spore. They are the most resistant forms of life and they can stay viable for centuries. They are resistant to desiccation, chemicals, heat. They are resistant to prolonged boiling, but spores of all medically important species are destroyed by autoclaving at 120 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. So we should ensure that all the methods of sterilization and disinfection can kill the spores. Sporulation helps bacteria survive for long periods under unfavorable condition and on favorable condition they germinate. On germination they lose their refractility and swells. The spore wall is shed. Germ cell appears by rupturing spore cord and elongates to form vegetative bacteria. Then how we demonstrate bacterial spores? Spores may be seen as refractile bodies in unstained preparations. Four spores stains intensely. And once spore envelope is laid down, spore does not stain easily. Usually in gram staining, bacterial spores appear as unstained areas. And usually the bacterial spores are as fast than the vegetative cells. So they can be stained by modification of zeal nielsen technique. That's all about bacterial spores. Thank you.